Lifestyle Nutrition. I'm with Wendy Jo Peterson. She is a registered dietitian in San Diego and author of The Mediterranean Diet for Dummies. Yes. Excellent. So let's talk about the Mediterranean diet. What is it? Mediterranean diet is based on research that has been done all throughout the Mediterranean region as to why the longevity of health has been seen so prevalent over there. People just live longer, and not only do they live longer, but they live healthier longer. So their quality of life is improved. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I always think back to my girlfriend's grandma. She's 96. And when I traveled to Italy for her wedding, she literally, in a dress and all, and heels, was riding her bike to and from the grocery <laughs> store. Wow. Yes. So, yeah. and, and it just really showed that evidence right there as to how people live their lives. Yes. And so that's, you know, that's the base of it. So it was based on that research that came out. And then what they did was they went in and looked and said, okay, let's figure out what they're doing right. And so, you know, the obvious things that we've talked about for years, the olive oil, the fish-based diet, the plant-based mm -hmm. diet, a lot of nuts and tons of legumes. Legumes are, you know, a huge part of the everyday diet mm -hmm. over in that region. Any particular ones? You know, really, it just depends on where you're at. Really? So, you know, you're not going to really see the black bean or the pinto bean, which okay. we would see throughout more South America or Central America okay. in the United States. Mm -hmm. But, you know, more of the white beans, the chickpeas or garbanzo beans, gotcha. lentils, right. which okay. lentils are stars. Right. And they take shape in a lot of foods over there. Um, so that I have a lot of recipes that are lentil-based in my cookbook as well. But... The biggest thing that I really found interesting is that they really grace their plate with about three to five servings of vegetables or fruits at each meal. Wow. So, you know, and I always say to my patients, you know, really look at breakfast as a great starting point mm -hmm. to kind of boost it because you'll find tomatoes or fava beans or spinach, you know, those types of hearty vegetables served as a breakfast starter for most people over there. You know, they do a lot of paninis mm -hmm. um, for breakfast, or they'll do beans are a huge part of breakfast foods throughout that region. And so what a great way to start your day, but with something such as that, sure. and not just, you know, which we love berries and stuff over here, which is great, but, you know, to really complement, offset those days where you do berries one day and then it really try to get vegetables in on another day. Wow. Three so to five per meal. Per meal. So what would be an example of a, of a meal? So a meal would typically look like salmon, you know, some type of fish. They okay. like their fatty fishes. Okay, good. Um, with capers or with olives. And then maybe some sliced cucumbers, mm -hmm. like spears of cucumbers. Mm -hmm. The Persian cucumbers are very popular. Maybe some sliced tomatoes. And then maybe a handful of grapes. You know, right there, that's three servings. Right. All raw, right? All simple, mm -hmm. no prep time. Yeah. You know, really, quite easy to to palate. Um, or you know, even the pastas. You know, where people really think, oh, pasta makes us fat. The the portion distortion that we have in our country is outrageous. It is outrageous, yes. and it's so evident because when you go over there, pasta is a preemie, so it's a first course, and the portion is. I always tell my clients when you think about a Mott's applesauce cup. Yes. A half cup. Yeah. Okay. That, double that or a little tiny milk carton, that's the actual portion, one cup uh -huh. of pasta. I mean, they really don't eat that much at a meal because it's the preemie. Then they do their secundi, which is usually meat. So, and oftentimes for them, their proteins are combined with a lot of vegetables or they're also combined with legumes. So lentils might be paired with um, chicken or it might be bean, white beans with fish. Mm -hmm. So they'll be paired together. And then they do their antipasta. So over there they have a lot of belief about eating your digestive foods after. So they eat their salads after their meal. And the idea is that it's going to help push things through your system. Mm -hmm. And then they also ha will have a digestive drink. So like a grappa or some type of alcoholic spirit that will also help burn the system through. Some interesting techniques. Yeah. But, you know... Over there as well, they do. They drink wine like water. Right. Um, but you don't see the overconsumption mm -hmm. as you see in our country or in our culture. You know, you just don't see the overconsumption in food. And so the other thing that I always look at is how mindful they are at eating, really in tune with savoring every bite. Enjoying it. it. Yeah. If yes. you sit down to a meal, they dissect the food. <laughs> as a family, everybody's 
talking about what they're tasting and it, you know whether or not Nona, which is grandma, did the spices correctly this one or did she change it or what did she have on hand that they didn't normally have in it. You know, it's comical, but it's so in tune to what they're eating, which we know, you know, mindful eating really does help with satiation. Absolutely. So, you know, to me, I think there's a lot of facets that make up the Mediterranean diet, not just the food that they consume, but how they approach food. Right. Excellent. So it's a real plant-based diet. Very. Olive oil mm -hmm. and... Um, Fish and Fish legumes. Fish and legumes. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. much so. Excellent. Excellent. Great book, Mediterranean Diet Food. Cookbook for Dummies, yes. Mediterranean cookbook for Dummies. And obviously available on Amazon.com. It is, yep. Or my website, which is justwindyjoe.com. Justwindyjoe.com? Yes. Justwindyjoe.com. Justwindyjoe. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Neely. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>